Welcome to the short book summaries channel if you are new to this channel kindly consider subscribing this channel to stay updated on each new book coming to this world. In case you like and want to buy this book the link is given in the description below. Now enjoy the summary. From forest trails in Korea, to islands in Finland, to eucalyptus groves in California, Florence Williams investigates the science behind nature's positive effects on the brain. Delving into brand new research, she uncovers the powers of the natural world to improve health, promote reflection and innovation, and strengthen our relationships. As our modern lives shift dramatically indoors, these ideas, and the answers they yield, are more urgent than ever. A must read. Florence Williams has explained what we all know, common sense, and she has done the research to back it up. This book needs to be read by every mayor and the members of council in every city worldwide. Schools, hospitals, and all who care about public health and sustainability, need to recognize the vital importance of nature in our lives. Just a beautiful book, ESP if you love trees, awe, birds and sea and sea. I love these things v much and need them in my life every day all the time. Nature really does make, most of, us feel better and she lays out a lot of reasons why, from all over the world. A lovely mix of science and feeling, I devoured this book and also, it made me feel good. A gem. I started reading this book in a plane flying towards the Amazon. I couldn't have picked a better time. While the feeling of being in nature has always been said to be a beneficial one, now it is completely clear to me where this originates from. The chapters are well segmented and give form to different types of benefits and different types of research that is done on the topic. It really enriched my walks through the Amazon forests, where I focused much more on the aspects the book showed me. Altogether a must read, especially for urban architects and planners, because it is alarmingly clear that our urban habitats are not doing much good for our physical and mental well-being. 